Our top story tonight, roads and yards in Richmond Hill are now puddles as residents in low-lying areas face flooding once again. Many of these homeowners still repairing the damage from Tropical Storm Debbie. They are seeking answers from city leaders. WSAB Sarah Smith is on Rushing Street today with the latest on the conditions. Well, the water cert certainly has risen since yesterday, moving from the street into some people's yards. And many of the people that I talked to today sh just shared with me that they're desperate for answers. While the city of Richmond Hill, Mayor Russ Carpenter says they're doing everything they can to help. I just hate it that we're all panicking again. I mean, we're all frustrated. As she looks out at flooded rushing street, Rebecca Matika recalled the damage to her home after tropical storm Debbie. Some say it was the worst Richmond Hill has seen in recent memory. We did have to cut drywall out everywhere in the house. We lost all of our flooring. Um, we finally did get all the drywall replaced. We are finally in the stage of being able to start painting. She says they're almost back to normal, but the flood water in the street from recent heavy rain is a reminder that they live in a low lying area. My fears right now are that continuing to be a problem and it coming right back into the house. She says while others had it worse, everyone is tired of dealing with this. Many people are upset with the city and blame the inadequate drainage systems. There's got to be a solution. There's got to be a way to, you know, divert the water elsewhere. I shared their concerns with Mayor Russ Carpenter today, and he says he understands their frustrations, but it's the reality of living near the Ogeechee River and Sterling Creek. Anything we can do to alleviate drainage, we will do and, and, and are pre preparing to do, and we are or have already done a lot. Um, we've been about in the past six years, we've spent over four million on drainage. And so uh, we understand this is an issue. We live in a low lying area, but this is where we all choose to live. So until they either move or find more permanent solutions, residents say they will continue to shovel sand and help each other repair. Now, Georgia Governor Brian Kemp did renew the state of emergency for flooding in southeast parts of Georgia. That includes Bryan County and other counties in our area. For now, the residents here tell me they're just looking forward to this water receding in the coming days. Reporting live in Richmond Hill, Sarah Smith, WSAV News 3, on your side.